All right, so the wood grain's going this way. This is the top part right here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut at least an inch. It has like a slope. So um, I'm gonna do, I'll show you real quick if it has a slope. So I'm gonna kind of prep it out so it's kind of marked, if you can kind of see that. So it's kind of right here at this angle right here. So it's the top part. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just get set up. I'm gonna, what I call tacking on strip. I'm gonna take a one inch strip just so you're seeing right there. Okay, so this is all tacky right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm not getting away the camera. I'm gonna actually pre-cut it. Here's what I'll show you. It's gonna go like one inch below that little cut, that crease line right here, the cut line's right here, so one inch over. So it's a, it releases the vinyl right here. I'll show you the reason why. All right, so now I know where the, the release cut is at. I'm just gonna pinch it a little bit just so it relaxes a little bit. Okay, so that's at an angle. I know it's going up and down. I'm gonna tack it on just like we've seen right here. It's not perfectly up and down, so I'm just gonna remove it a little bit. I'm gonna line it up right, right there. I have to viral relax. This is what the beauty of uh, tacking strip on. You can remove it up and down. Okay. Okay. The paper is not going on to, I mean, the paper is going on to the ceiling. So the, the vinyl is not sticking on the ceiling. To be more cautious if you want, and I'll do that right now to show you in the purposes. It protects the ceiling, because the ceiling is actually a fabric or a leather. And you don't want to damage the, the surfaces. So what I'm using is a low tack tape. Normally I got two, I, I do the two inch tape. I just forgot to bring it. The two inch tape does wonders. So now I'm, I'm double protecting it so the vinyl will not go onto the surface and then when you're pulling the vinyl off, you won't damage the surface up here. So next what I do is I use, I take the strip off, use a squeegee, you can use any kind of squeegee. These are my design squeegees that I designed and um, they're called artificial film squeegees. You can go on the armwraps.com website and you can see it. But I'm just showing you can use any kind of squeegees. Now to get to the very edge of it, I'm actually going to cut just a little bit more so it doesn't tack on to the ceiling. Okay. Now the tape acts like it, it just slides in there a little bit better. You take a squeegee or you can take the architectural film squeegee that we have Hold it against the wall like this and shove it up, just like this. Because I'm, I'm pushing it in and pushing it up. And that will get right up to the edge of that corner. Take your knife and softly get where the crack is at. Then, voila. Get your fingernail up there and get as close as you can up there. Okay.
Next, you take the, the back, other backing down. Take a squeegee. When you use your the architectural film squeegees, I usually put my thumb or finger right here in the groove. And you just kind of follow the arrows. I like this because it's nice and hard and it gets it in there. Um, also, use your thumb as the weight up here, not up here, but your thumb as the weight. And it, so the reason why I like it strong because it's evenly pressured. Um, if it's uh, the other squeegees, they're fine. They do just great, just as great. But when you have the, uh, the sturdiness of this, it, it gives it more evenly out. On this one, I'm going to try to get in the groove as much as possible. I use my finger now, and I'm going to actually, the groove's right here. I'm going to cut on this groove so that the vinyl will sink into this corner right there. So I'm cutting on the left side of the groove. Go. All right, so there's two little uh, squeegees. I can use the scraper squeegee because it's really sharp right here to get in those little gro grooves. A regular sque or a squeegee, it has a perfect uh, thickness right here. The architectural film squeegee, it's one eighth inch thick, so it's a little thicker. So this is what I recommend probably using the regular squeegee. And then once you get done with that, try to get as far as you can in there. Just slightly do it. Slowly walk it in. And when you get done with that, I would add a little heat to it. All right, so for every section I do, I wrap it and I post heat it. What post heat does, it actually oxidates the vinyl uh, glue better. It also forms the vinyl to the subject better. And it's just, uh, it's the best way to make the vinyl stick long-term is it's called post heat. This vinyl, okay. A little slope up here you can't see it's going to be very hard for it in the video to show you because it's just like a little minor this lip right lip right here but it's a very little lip but we are going to uh get up there so on these guys right here i normally do is i just kind of go like this i pinch it and i try to sneak it i'm trying to get not get in the way of the camera I have like a one eighth inch bleed hitting the, the top of the thing because uh, it's got a little lip going up. Um, okay. This I'm just going to use my hands. Uh, I'm install the rest of it. There we go. Now what I'm going to do is All right, this part right here, I'm going to put my knife, I'm going to run, run against it. Same thing down here, I'm going to run against it. And the vinyl is going to go on to the 3 fourths inch strip right here. Boy, it sticks really good. If you notice, I, I put the primer 94 right there and then minutes later, I would install it. The vinyl does stick really good on it once the vinyl tacks onto the surface. Okay. 
Uh, I actually got a little lip right there, or a little in groove. So I'm going to And there are always tight spots on the yacht. That you'll be fighting. This is more detailed stuff. You can't really see with the video because it's such a tight little area. I'm going underneath uh, the roof or the ceiling material. And then when I add a little heat to it, it will sink it in even more. Okay. This part right here has like a little groove right here. I'm gonna cut on the left side of the groove. So it sinks in. There we go. That's good right there. Now on this bottom part right here, I'm gonna actually I don't want to stretch it over. Um, stretching it over sometimes is, doesn't work. So what I'm gonna do is, this bottom part here, some people actually, they, stretch, they heat it up and stretch it over. I, the less stretching you do, the better, uh, for, in, in my preferences. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut just right up to the edge Cut where that groove is at. Take my squeegee and I'll try to shove it in so I can see where the groove is at with my, with my squeegee. On this one, I'm going to cut on the right side of the groove so the vinyl will relax onto the left side when I use the heat. There we go. I'm going to post, post heat it. You can kind of see how the vinyl is relaxing a little bit. That's when it's a good time to do it, to uh, shove it in. So double check everything, make sure it's all nice and down. Perfect. And this right here again. 